Hello everybody, I'm Lee from thecraftyspark.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous little birdhouse with a little Christmas owl and some mistletoe hanging up. Right, let's get going then, shall we? I have my Simply scoreboard and to begin with we need a piece of vellum cardstock that's this lovely thin stuff which I really like at the moment actually it's really tickling my fancy right now this piece of vellum cardstock measures eight and a half inches by seven inches and what we are going to do very carefully because vellum cardstock it's a bit delicate it's obviously not as sturdy as normal cardstock so just be a little bit gentle with it but we are going to score at oh with the eight and a half along the top obviously we are scoring at two four whoops six and eight all right and then turn it round put your uh, narrow edge at the bottom and we are going to score at two and five it's so flimsy I'm really worried I'm gonna <laughs> score straight through it please be gentle with your vellum cardstock all right now just turning it back round again you will see we have now got two inches here and we've got two inches here so I suppose it doesn't really matter what way up you have it it depends what way you work really I think yeah probably just depends what way you work but what we're going to do is put it back so we've got the eight and a half at the top and then with the small end of your styling tool scoring tool not styling tool that was a cross between a stylus and a score tool a styling tool <laughs> I'm inventing my own products now oh get me right with the small end make a little mark at one inch three inches five inches and seven inches all right actually no we didn't need those those two did we what am i talking about scrap that you need to mark <laughs> it's <laughs> oh it's started already isn't it um make a mark at one inch and five inches it's because I'm thinking of another project I'm doing as well and <laughs> I haven't got my brain focused so just repeat marking one inch five inches nowhere else right move your scoreboard out of the way grab hold of a ruler oh I can't see it now look see this is the problem when you're using this lovely white stuff you can't see through it very easily what's this there you go I'm going to use a bit of golden green pop that under it so I can see what I'm actually doing and you can see what I'm doing as well so on our first section with the narrow end again but again not pressing too hard just go from that mark you made down to that corner okay and again on the other side so we've actually created a triangle there you are. and then on the right one rather than the wrong one do the same thing again so from your mark to your corner and again whoops from the mark to the corner all right cool right now then <laughs> this is where you cross your fingers and just hope and pray that you haven't ripped your vellum cardstock anywhere Ooh. let's try it whoops let's try folding the right way first shall we uh, please fold please fold please fold and don't tear there we go you can use your finger actually you don't really need to use a bone folder when you're working with vellum cardstock because it's it's so easy to fold <laughs> she says after all the warnings about just be careful you don't go straight through it right make sure your marks match up before you fold it down otherwise you're going to have a very 
wonky box shape. There we go. Just smooth it along with your finger. See, once it's folded, it's actually all right. It's just getting those folds in to begin with that you have to watch yourself. There you go. That one was a nice easy one. Now this one may not be so easy, but let's hope. There we go. I think I've got it. Yay! Look at that. First time. Woohoo! Go me. <laughs> right. Ooh. Uh, whoops. Fold your top one over. Again, making sure you're on your score line. Fold it across. And your bottom one. So you fold your bottom one up. Whoops. Right, now your little triangles that you've made at the top, we want to fold those. Uh, hang on, which way do we want to fold those? Because they're going in. Oh, we want to fold them that way. Very nearly told you the wrong way then, didn't I? So fold it over that way. Oh, come on, bend. That's it. And that way. So you're actually folding towards the outside of your box rather than the inside of your box. You might actually be able to get away with not folding it at all, but I just want to make sure. But today I'm going to show you this way. And when you do it yourself though, you might actually find it's easier not to even bother folding these because the score lines will hold them quite well. Because of whoop, because it's so what's the word resilient no uh, oh I don't know but anyway once it's bent it's bent that's what I'm trying to say you don't need to worry about it too much right actually I'm going to leave that there because you won't be able to see if I move it away will you right grab your scissors take out that corner there and notch it very slightly there we go and then we also need to cut up all of these all right so I'm going to cut up that one there and that one and finally that one now when you lay it down because obviously we want to be able to get into this box because where the tea light's going to be in there you need to be able to switch your tea light on and off all right so we kind of need to um what's the word make some access don't we let me think let me think we could access it from the top actually yeah we'll do it that way that that'll work out quite well right going from the right hand side so you've got your small bit on your right one, two, second one in, cut your longer tab. So you've got about, yeah, about half an inch. That should do it. Just snip that across and get rid of that bit. Don't need that bit. And then very carefully, just notch the corners. So once you've cut them, cut the tab shorter it's actually really easy to notch the corners do you know what I'm going to swap to my big scissors but when you've um oops to begin with it can be a little bit fiddly right there we go that's better look there we are I showed my um son this my youngest son once I'd um, finished it the other day because I was doing them um, as always I always try and make a prototype first just to make sure that my idea is working 
because you never know it could be a disaster couldn't it don't cut that one by the way i've notched that and i really shouldn't have done um but yeah i showed my young son he went oh that's wicked can you make all those for my children my friends in my class I thought, he's got 30 in his class I thought, oh christ i love you very much darling but no not that many right now i'm just going to fold those tabs up because i'm going to bring in my one and three quarter punch and lining it up see i folded all the tabs under that's only so the punch can go in easily but lining it up i'm going to punch a hole now i want to get in the middle of this one here all right so we're one two three in in the middle of that one now the reason i've folded the bottom bit under is because otherwise i'm not going to be able to get the punch up high enough but i'm going to also be using these folded edges to see how far up i'm making my hole now you want to yeah i think that's you see how i've lined up at least i hope you can how i've lined up the top of the punch with this fold line we punch there i reckon make sure you're central again you can use the edges of your punch and the score lines that you've made to get yourself centered properly about there i reckon don't you yeah all right punch a hole and then carefully because we don't want to rip or tear or anything take the punch out there we go don't need those let's move that over there so as i've folded them under can you see it's punched out the bottom of that as well which is fine you really don't need to worry about that it's not going to cause any problems in fact you might you could have even not even bothered cutting it i suppose you could have just slept oh whatever right <laughs> gaveling away to myself okay let's get some double-sided tape and i'm going to stick this on the edge of my vellum cardstock there all right i'm also because i want to fold these bomb bits under so well, actually i'll do those in a minute because otherwise i'll forget where i'm what i'm sticking and what i'm not sticking having a bit of a scatty day today <laughs> for a change because i don't do that very much do i no right so fold those round now it, you can see it a little bit but i won't worry too much because once you've actually finished building and you've got your box together that's going to be at the back so you're not actually going to see it that much all right but now we need to fold in the bottom and you could if you wanted to stick them all which probably wouldn't be a bad idea do you know what i'm going to use glue on this no i'm not i'm going to use tape and i'm going to put some where do i want it i want some there told that one and then on there right okay so let's flatten down again i'm going to put a bit there i wasn't sure actually when i was doing this whether to have it opening at the top or the bottom I couldn't really make my mind up, but I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the bottom, actually. Uh, no, I'm going to go for the top, not the bottom. <laughs> we're going to open at the top. That's where we're going to open. God, it's hard work, isn't it? Right, let's put another bit. Come on, flatten it for me. I'm just going to put another bit of double-sided tape there. And then, so that one will go in. That's going to go in there, and that's going to stick on there, and that one's going to fold over there. So for this one, I only really need it on there, don't I? Do you know what, though? I think I might put some a bit further up as well, though, just to just to make sure it does hold properly because 
I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to hang mine up. I think I might actually because they look so cute. I might hang them on the tree. In which case, I don't want the tea light falling out the bottom, do I? Because that would be a disaster. Right, let's get that sorted out. Oh, I've gone all right back to front and inside out. I'm all over the place with this, haven't I? Sorry, everybody. It would have made much more sense if I'd put all the tape on to begin with so that you could see where it was all going, wouldn't it? But I'm sure once you've cut all your um, flaps at the bottom, you'll be able to work it out anyway. So if you didn't see where I was putting my tape, don't panic. Now, this bit, we need to make sure we get nicely lined up. There we go. Because if it's not lined up, obviously you're going to have a bit of a squiffy box going on. Um, come off tape. That's it. There we go. Oops, just want to put a little bit over there. Right, so... Nicely lined up. There we go. There. Uh, where's my ruler gone? My little ruler. I'm just going to use my ruler just to stick that tape down properly in the side. There. Right. Now the top is going to be going together like that. All right. So you've kind of made your little birdhouse. <laughs> it's looking quite good, isn't it? I like that. Oh, do you know what? Should have put a bit of tape there, shouldn't I? Oh, poo. I'm going to put... Um... Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. That's what I'm going to do. Just to hold it in place. Oops. Squeeze it if you want your glue to come out, won't you? Because otherwise it doesn't come out. Unless you've got really clever, sort of psychic kind of glue that knows exactly what you want it to do. <laughs> no, I don't have any of that. Right. Oh, look, it's making a mess now. Come on, stick nicely for me that's better there that's more like it i didn't want to do this to begin with in case i squirted glue out all over my my garden green cardstock but never mind it's all right it's safe right now because it's going to be going like this and because i probably want to be hanging it up as well i'm going to punch a small hole just at the top there so if I decide I'm hanging it up, I have got some method of hanging it. If I decide I'm not hanging it up, well, it's not going to matter because it's still going to look really, really cute with a bow in the top of it, which I'm going to put on it anyway, actually. So, right, that's just, uh, I'm going to go for 1 16th because I don't want a big hole on this at all. Now, I just hope my crocodile is going to go in all right if you can see i hope you can you can see where your center line is because that's where your edges are meeting so you just need to make sure you've got your line in the right place and punch a hole in do shall i do it now mm, no 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 i won't do it now actually because i've got to put the roof on first Oh, goodness. Wake up, woman. Right. Oh, let's leave that there for a minute. For the roof, I have cut three of these. Now, this is the... Duh, 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 not the largest, the next one in on the labels dies. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, the labels dies. I've scored down the middle of one, but the others... I've actually cut in half and we're going to use these to make the roof so turning it up the other way if you fold it you'll be able to see how it goes on but 
we want that little overlap because that looks really cute but we also need it to come down the sides which is where these are going to come in all right because if you layer them in like that <laughs> how sweet is that looking doesn't that look lovely so that's what i'm going to do and let's get the glue back because you all know i like glue so put some glue on now i'm going to line up um, how far is that would you say about a quarter of an inch Obviously you need to do the same on both sides, so what I would suggest is do one, put them next to each other like I'm doing, and then you'll be able to see where you need to put them so that you've got an even sides, otherwise you're going to have a, a wonky roof. So there we go, look. You can just like that, and if you want to as well, you can even stick your thumb in the glue like I just did. Let's just line that up. Whoopsie daisy. Is that straight? Yeah, that too. For goodness sake. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it takes you right back to childhood, doesn't it? Getting glue all over your hands. Right, do the same again. So roughly a quarter of an inch. And then that will give you that really cute looking tiled effect. Line that up straight. Yeah. Now this one's a little bit more tricky because you have to sort of do it from the side there. All right. So if you put the face up, put the two together. This is why it's good to use glue when you're doing the actual roof part because it gives you your wiggle room that you need. So put them together like that, make sure you've got them nicely lined up all the way around so you're nice and straight and in line and then you just need to fold it over. Alright, and then that will give you your matching roof. Okay, that was easy wasn't it? So let's just stick that down nice and firm. Then we can put it on our little house. I just noticed I've gone a bit squiffy on that side. That's it. All right, so make sure you're nicely centered. This is where it, it does get a little bit fiddly. So sorry, guys, if it's fiddly fiddling. Right. Do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to pierce a hole in it first because then I'll be able to line it up easier won't I right so let's get that I hope you can see what I'm doing Hold on, let me just check the camera uh, yeah sort of I'll line it up there I'm just going to make a hole now I've gone down about a quarter of an inch all right so I've gone through that and I've also gone through my roof and now I'm going to punch my hole through because I can line that up on my crocodile. Punch that hole through there. There we are. That's better, isn't it? And then let's get some gold cord. You could... If you're going to hang it, you could actually just thread this through and do a, you know, one of those knots where you sort of feed it through and back on itself. Just do a knot like that on it. And then just hang it up straight away. But I'm going to tie this one in a bow for now, <laughs> if I can get hold of it. I'm going to tie it in a bow so that you can see it both ways because you can actually leave the bow on there and still have room to put a hanging um what's it in 
You know what I mean, don't you? Right, pull it quite tight. And as you can see, as I've pulled it tight, it's actually pulled the roof together. Hang on, let's move that out of the way. Right, so I'll pull it quite tight. Tie it in a bow. Try and make a nice bow, obviously. Not a big messy bow. There we go. Oh. There. I'll leave that bit there for the minute. Right, now to decorate it, I have made, now this, I'm very impressed with i was going to make it on camera but it, it took quite a while because i've not actually made one before so i thought rather than doing it on camera i'll make it off camera but i'll put a picture of my little friend on my website and then you'll be able to see him look isn't he cute <laughs> oh, i was well impressed when i did that i thought it was lovely Oh, isn't he lovely? Oh, so he, I've already put a glue dot on the back actually. He is going to sit just there. Right there? Yeah. And I've also made some mistletoe. Look. Now to do this, what I've actually done is I've used the two bird punches. So the bird builder punch and the owl punch. So there's the little owl, as you can see. I mean, you can see that's kind of from there, can't you? Oops, a bit messy. And then I've used the leaves from the bird builder punch to make the mistletoe. And the little owl's hat is made from the wing on the bird builder punch. So cute little punches. Now this I'm going to attach up there and again I've already put the glue dot on but I might need to sort of put a bit of glue around it as well I think maybe. Oh, I don't know, it's, that might be alright. Glue dots are really strong so with any luck that will hold. <laughs> oh look, that came together quick didn't it? Do you know what? I'm just going to, I think I might trim that off. Yeah, I'll just trim that the top of my mistletoe off. Just like that. There we go. So there, we have it. Put your tea light in. Oh, excuse me, mister. Yeah. Obviously, when you put your tea light in, you might as well just unthread the top. But <laughs> as I've already tied it up, get in there. That's it. There. Let me turn the light off. Actually, let me go and turn the big light off as well. Can you see? How's that looking? Oh, look at that. That looks so cute. Oh, I'm well impressed with that. <laughs> well done, me. <laughs> right, well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed our, our little a little owl in his little bird house and yeah I think that I'm rather 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 happy with that anything that you need to know if you're not sure about anything that I've done there just have a look on my website all the measurements are going to be on there as well so you'll be able to see them all and I hope you do like it and I hope you come back and visit me again some other time so until then goodbye